Welcome back, guys. I'm Valen. And I am still theater. And today we are back with more Red Velvet. Uh huh. And this time we're doing Red Velvet's Killing Boys. Finally. I mean, yeah. what better group than Red Velvet to have a killing voice? Exactly. They are, uh, you know, if Exo are the vocal kangs, then um, these guys got to be the vocal queens, okay? Sure. Of SM at the very least, for sure. Exactly. Uh -huh. SM really has very good artists. Oh, yeah. Very good vocalists, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. It's nice to see that they're really like keeping the bar high when right, it comes to that. Right, right. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm no very question. happy for SM doing that, for sure. Undoubtedly so. I'm very excited to actually check this out. We've been uh, doing some deep dives mm -hmm. on Red Velvet, some Definitely. songs. Just and like, Theo is here is more choir now. So that's but, right. And like two days ago, it just got uploaded on Patreon. We like reacted to Red, Red Velvet Velvet's Psycho. Psycho like live in front of like a really intimate audience. And it was, it was super so cool. Good. Like they were performing it, like no auto tune, anything. Yeah. And it was just cool to see, yeah, like some talented uh, Man, female vocalists. Very good. Also, guys, before we begin, make sure to like the video if you enjoy our content and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of it. Lastly, as we just mentioned, we have uh, some Red Velvet content over on Patreon and there's only more to come. We also have a lot of other groups over there, including EXO, like their concerts and all sorts of stuff. Taeyeon, Girls' Generation, 80s, and BTS, Hypen. and Hypen, Dreamcatcher, if you want to get into that territory. We got a lot of different content over there. So if you want to support us and also check out all our other content, make sure to head on over, over to Patreon. Patreon. That's right. Nonetheless, let's get into it. Okay, guys, let's do it. One, two, three, let's go. Got me feeling like a psycho, psycho. Hello. 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 <laughs> Killing boys, wow. Let's go. Go. Is there the view? Oh, happiness. Yeah, happiness. Sometimes you gotta be bold. Just I haven't heard this song in so long. I remember the la 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 la. You definitely put this on at some maybe, point during maybe. my life. The rest I don't remember though. I like the beat in this, it's creative. Yeah, it's very fun. Uh huh, very groovy. I like the pitch down voice in the back. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Gotta have the snare rolls. Shiny should have made a little uh, a little feature here. Shiny. I'm still waiting for da, da, into the room. <laughs> it does sound like that. It really, it's totally 
the same chords. How I feel. I gotta congratulate the actual uh, mixing uh, mixers. I hate when people use yeah, like engineer for everything nowadays, yeah. like audio engineer, nail technician, all this type of stuff. <laughs> it's whatever. But um, I really got to congratulate them on um, actually mixing it mixing really well. It well like yeah. it, it almost just sounds like a studio vocal. Exactly. Which it kind of is. I mean, they're, in a, is, exactly. they're in a very like well-treated room with a high quality microphone yeah, and everything. Definitely. But it literally sounds like it. Like it doesn't sound like a performance from... No, no, no it's no. good. It's super well mixed they, into the original. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're doing sure. a good job, man. Let's do it. Woo! They really love saying la 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 la. That's true. Ice cream. Ice cream. Was it actually that normal even back in 2015 when this was released to have this much English in your songs? Because Red Velvet, yeah, they do. Have they really English. love incorporating English. You know, some groups in K-pop they barely have any, mm -hmm. but Red Velvet is definitely one of those groups the, uh, that is using a lot of English in their songs. I don't know. I think, as you said, depends on the group. Yeah, for sure. Because even nowadays, there's some groups, as you said, they that don't incorporate They barely have too any, much. and then other groups, it's like it might as well just Half. be fully in English. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think Red Velvet is one of them. Oh, okay, but. That it was depends already... on the song too. But were they the ones who were kind of like pioneering that? Do you I know? I don't know. Because I know in like very old K-pop, it's much less. Yeah. Like even 2010, oh, yeah. 9. This is 2015. Though. Yeah. This is the era where they started more international. Okay. Okay. But I'm not sure. Please tell us in the comments. Yeah, I'm actually curious. Were Red Velvet like one of the pioneers or the ones really bringing English into the forefront of K-pop? Because, no um, I mean, other other music from the same era doesn't include that much. That, not that much. Not yeah. as much as this, no. Yeah, for Anyhow, sure. let's keep on going. Ice cream cake. Hitting those notes. Ice cream, you scream. Give me that, give me that. Oh, what the heck? Finally. See, la 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 again. Yeah, they love that. It works. It's kind of childish and cute. <laughs> yeah. And that's the vibe they're also going exactly. for. Exactly. You know, like a nursery rhyme or something like that, la la. Yeah. The music video for this song was something. Yeah. La, la, la. It's really glitchy. Yeah. Oh. 
You think they got any problems with the censors for Russian roulette? Because I know sometimes Korean television loves to buy a KBS. Maybe, yes. maybe, maybe. This is the weirdest song, man. And Russian roulette, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. But this song is odd. But it's funny. Sim Salabim. It's so funny. It's a long time since I've heard that word. <laughs> Can we just appreciate like how cool uh Hangul Hangul, right? Like that's the script of oh. Korean or uh, -huh. uh that actually looks when it's like kind of you know in like this sort of uh, cursive or not cursive? Cursive, yeah. No, cursive. but like not cursive, but um that that is like tilted. Yeah, when it's like slightly that's tilted. That's true. It looks kind of cool. I actually think it looks like cooler. Yeah. Uh, I really like it like this. It, it has true. a cool aesthetic to it. You guys are good aesthetic. Are they putting a spell on me? Right, that sounds like that. The Rev Festival Day. Hey, that was what they were doing at that performance. Ah. It's made from this comeback. Oh. Or, Dude. Even like behind the the somewhat auto tuned vocals, you can really hear like those vocals were clean. Like, oh, yeah. I don't think there's any doubt that those notes would have sounded just fine if they didn't add it. You know, yeah. the, the famous Killing Voice uh, treatment to it. Yeah. No, it, it no would still it's sound really Wendy. Nice. She's the best singer. Oh, of Red yeah, those Velvet. were some nice notes. Definitely. No, she, she's like the John Ho yeah. of Red Velvet. Yeah, with that's high true. Notes that's true. Sure. She, that's true. She's the one. <laughs> He's getting into it. I was, I was. They were putting the spell on me. That's true. Car carpool? Never heard of this song. Creative name. Notice how the camera's kind of swaying. Yeah. I wonder if they're like holding it just or... Are they, I don't know. I'm it's not that much into camera technique and stuff. I don't know much about it. I really appreciate this, this regarding song sounds cute. Red Velvet's like clothing here that they're not like trying to dress in like a sexual way or anything along those lines. No. That's nice just to I see. I feel them. like Red Velvet always had this vibe. That's what I like actually. I, I haven't I seen like anything Red with Red Velvet where I'm like thinking, dude, they're just putting this on because they think they're going to sell more. Like that's I never, true. I never really think that with no, Red, Velvet. Red Velvet is not that type. No, that not way. as far as I've seen, and that, I think that's really good. No, they don't give that vibe. Ever. No, no, that's I wouldn't nice. Say so. That's really nice. No, I like it for sure. Because they're beautiful just the way they are. Yeah, yeah they look cute. Yeah. I love that they're all singing together. Yeah. And they remember the ad libs and everything. Yeah. Nice. 
my queendom. Yeah. You ever think that? Like, maybe they should start naming, like, if a queen is running a country, why don't they, like, change it to a queendom? That'd be pretty hilarious. The queendom yeah. of England? I love that. The queendom of Denmark? I actually like that more. <laughs> I want to be from the Queendom of Denmark. That'd be hilarious. It sounds fun. <laughs> I will go. Then I am going. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Kingdom boo. <laughs> Queendom ye. <laughs> like they'd have to like n change all the documents and everything every five years on everything. It'd be I too like funny. that. It'd be I funny support at least. The Queendom. <laughs> <It'd be good. laughs> Rain. Ball. I agree. Better no. <laughs> exactly. Well, I better know. I, we better know. Also, just a little fun fact. I know it's, uh, I'm sorry for always stopping it, but I just want to like educate the viewers at the end of the day. I hope you guys have already seen the performance. Like, yeah. just, just in that case. Uh, mm -hmm. Regarding the pop, the thing that they have on it, it's called a pop filter. Do you know exactly what it actually does? We have it on ours yeah. as well. Do you know what it does actually? No. It uh, makes the sounds of <laughs> kind of like less annoying. Oh. Oh, yeah, like, those types of sounds. Like yeah. get into your lips sometimes. Exactly. Less it, it removes those sounds. Smart. So, you know, sometimes in microphones, they can have these... Yeah. And it sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, this m diminishes that a lot. Nice. But that's what it actually does. Just oh, a smart. little fun fact. Just smart. a little fun fact. That is a fun fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it's not the end of the world if you don't have it, but it's good exactly. to have. It's good to have. <laughs> This kind of reminds me of Taeyeon's music. True. This could totally be a Taeyeon song. You get me, right? Totally. Completely. Yeah, very much. And I like saying it too. know these songs I see oh, this, all this is one of the most famous oh yeah from Red Velvet I like these orchestral hits that's very K-pop yeah. I love how natural, actually, Red Velvet yeah. looks in general. Red, you 
This, you know what? Like a lot of these songs, including this one, might as well have been like released today. I yeah. feel like they're still very contemporary. But at the same time, I don't feel like these songs get that famous nowadays. Like what you see nowadays is still like a little bit different genre-wise mm. from what gets like popular. I remember, damn, I'm old. But it 2017. still feels really contemporary. I remember when this song came out, I didn't like it. 2017 seems like yesterday for me. I know, me too. I was, I was looking at the day and the time. I was like. 2017. Wow. It felt like nothing. Deal with it, boomer. We're Anyways, boomers. uh huh. <laughs> but when the song came out, didn't truly really like it. No. But then I, I I saw everyone like was obsessed with it, especially in Korea. Okay. It was it becoming viral, and I was like, okay, let's hear it again. Second listen, and mm -hmm. then I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes so you do need a second, third listen a lot. Totally, of the time. but sometimes a certain song might just like more hit the spot for certain nationalities more than because others. Because it's in Korean too. That shoe was very Korean. Yeah, That's the true. whole song is like almost entirely Korean. Mm -hmm. too. But also just certain concepts, some musical concepts, exactly. some groups might enjoy more. No, but than I others. do like it. I really like the song, for especially sure. the ending part is so good with the Wendy's vocals. So mm -hmm. good. I, I do love that part a lot. Anyhow, everyone, let's keep on going. This song is so good. Another good song. Yeah. It's 2017 too. Damn. They were, they were releasing time. bops. Yeah. To the good dope days. You got the whole... I used to know this whole dance. The whole choreography? Yeah, the whole dance. Well, don't be shy. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to see them all harmonize yeah. throughout the whole thing. Ooh, this song is good too. Bad boy. Oh, oh, oh. 
bad boy down. We got a bad boy down. We got a bad boy down. Great song. I rem I'm sad that the hey now we'll be okay. Yeah. Right, yeah. But they need to be fast. No. Yes. One of these nights. <laughs> One of these nights. One of these nights. Funny, like Ooh. how they already started incorporating like these trap sort of drums yeah. at this point. How do you like this to be? It's natural and automatic for you. Yay! Ooh. Natural and automatic. Damn! I have not heard this song either. What is that? Is that? Is that car? I don't. I don't get the reference. Is I that don't right? know. We don't know the song. That's the thing. It just comes so natural. It just comes automatic. May I get that it don't want some yet? I'm missing a shame, tongue and soup shake all we saw. May I get some secret to lodge in so they got daughter that's had a eat and to see the bottom of my pocket to so. I like this kind of boom, yeah. bap, jazz sort of uh -huh. sound and, uh, break percussion. Yeah, this is funny, cool. different. K-pop in general, they're creative and like they are creative. to incorporate elements in a new way. Exactly, I like that. You know what I mean? Like, there's not that many rules. What? 
You know, there's not that many rules in any no, of these songs. I love that about K-pop. I like that. Like the rules are almost. No, they like can they're... really be creative. Yeah, for it's sure. That's true. I... They have like the creativity. Like you can just add whatever. I saw this uh, American producer who produces a lot of K-pop. Like he's a big oh. like producer within the K-pop industry, and he also just said the fun thing about K-pop is, I mean, sometimes it might as well just be four songs in one. Exactly. And that's already one thing that you don't hear that much in, in American, American in America, or Western with... music in mm-hmm. general, and also just like yeah, there are no rules. There just are rules. Do true. whatever. Like I like that. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, Your expectations true. should always be subverted in some exactly. way. Exactly. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yeah, you don't expect anything. You don't know what to no, expect. No, no, for real. That's, that's true. Something that's true. very entertaining. I never thought of that. It's, it's true. also fun to react to K-pop for that reason. Because you don't know what's coming. Yeah, yeah. So like just, with rappers, you're like, yeah, it's the same thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sure. Yeah. And like hip-hop artists, yeah, yeah. etc. Yeah, nowadays, yeah. In the car. That's right. I got you, you got me. Oh, that was a nice run. I got you, you got me. I love you till kingdom come. Ooh. It's very sweet of you. However, I, I happen to be in a relationship. <laughs> She's not talking to you. She's talking. She's talking to me. <laughs> I like how you didn't reject her though. <laughs> One thing I've kind of noticed about Red Velvet's uh, choruses here, where they sing together, mm. is they don't actually harmonize on top of each other. I used the wrong word before. They kind of sing like the same thing, just in different vocals. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. It sounds almost more like a chant okay. than yeah. like a normal it's harmony. It's they like that. Because like... let's say like a normal harmony might be one person sings like da 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 da, and the other person sings da 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 da. Yeah. You know, and then those two things go uh-huh, on top of uh-huh. each other. But in this case, they all just sing the same. The same thing, is true. Yeah, and then maybe one like person does an ad lib on top of it. Exactly. So it's yeah, almost like more of like. a chant chorus than a true like harmony, because mm. there's not like a lot of harmonization going on in these. Okay, mm-hmm. I get you. That's that's like Sounds a thing. Because some groups love harmonizing. Harmonizing. But yeah, it seems like, like Red Excel. Velvet, for Excel example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, but yeah. Red Velvet seems to prefer like just kind of just singing the same thing and mm-hmm. more creating like a chant vocal. Yeah, that's fun. To love. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh,
The ladies' room. <laughs> ladies' room. Okay. I don't think I've ever heard a title called that, but it's actually yeah. you can do a lot with it. Uh huh. This has a more funky sound yeah. to it. Yeah. Like EXO in 2015, they were True. doing some funk stuff True. too. Regarding the harmony thing, I do hear in harmony underneath, but it's True. definitely not the uh, like it's not the vocal being recorded here. It's a backing track. So okay. It mm -hmm. doesn't sound like the same vocal for some reason. I don't mm. think it is. But no idea. So maybe like what I said before, it doesn't hold completely true. But I still feel like there's not that many harmonies going on in their music in comparison to a lot of to other, other groups. groups. Yeah. I, the only other harmonies that I, I actually you. heard was kind of their own vocal, but pitched down. You know. Yeah. Like just as an effect. I they just took say. the same track and just pitched it down, oh, okay. which is something I don't know. People have always been doing since the effect came out. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. that's funny. Number? Shira. I am still in a relationship. Oh. She keeps asking me. I she feel uncomfortable. They sampled. Listen to what they sampled. Oh, yeah? Is that Swan Lake? No, I have no idea. This sounds fun. Never heard this song. Sample is such a funny uh, addition. I love that whoa with the auto tune. <laughs> Chill kill. Don't think about tomorrow. It's funny how like red velvet, I mean throughout all of these songs you can hear that they have there has been like a red Fred yeah. sort of like throughout all their music when it mm -hmm. comes to the genres and ideas and whatnot. But in the last two songs, you can hear how like in 2022 and 2023 drill music 
like which ironically enough comes from this extremely horrific like John, like the music, like the ideas are creative, yeah. but it comes from straight up just horrific criminals murdering each other from these like disadvantaged yes. areas. That yeah. music, like literally a soundtrack of murder of the worst things possible has like come into pop music. Right? Isn't that funny? But pop music likes like you can hear the, a lot of things like hip -hop. In this music, you both hear, yeah, but sure, hip hop still comes from another place than drill. Yeah, hip hop wasn't explicitly about these types of Not things. Not at all. Sure. I mean, hip hop. It wasn't. It didn't come from hip hop. That much. Didn't start out as gangster rap. No, it didn't. You know, it the gangster not. rap wasn't even the first type of rap. They I just know. started rapping too. Exactly. And, and even those people, at most, they were like, what? Like, I'm sorry, we're getting a bit of off track here, and we'll go back in a second. Mm. At most, they were like, what? Like, drug dealers and stuff like that. Yeah. But no, drill is murder, murder music. music. It is murder music is completely correct. When people but, call it that, it's horrific. It's funny, yeah. But the genre, when it comes to just the musical elements, is funny, funny and creative. It's funny and Credit creative. must be given where credit is due. And I totally get why and people it's incorporate funny, it. Exactly. It's funny incorporating to pop. It, kind yeah, of, it does sound, it, it it sounds works. cool, because it's not bad. It's just a lot of triplets exactly and like these crazy little hi-hat patterns uh, and these sub basses kind of going does, crazy It does have fun And it's just funny how all that stuff came into even exactly. k-pop which is you know a cute exactly. genre with positivity yeah. And also a lot of other pop music when it when right? it has such uh, dark origins Dark origins uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, this is the sub bass, everything. Yeah. That. Man's got the ting. Central C in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Chokyo was her first <laughs> comeback oh, Red Velvet oh, like months right, ago right. yeah, in yeah, the yeah. channel. <laughs> they did a really good job. Yeah, man. I really think they did. Yeah. Really strong vocals, as we've heard previously. <laughs> what is this heart? <laughs> Bye. Annyeong. <laughs> it's such a funny word. Some people say onion. <laughs> onion. No, it's cute. Hey, really cute. It was Very good. well done. Super Very cool well performance. Done.
you know, regarding Ch Chill Kill and what I mentioned previously, in a way it's actually very uh, Red Velvet because Red Velvet loves combining a very cute music with darker undertones. Yeah. So incorporating a genre which is known for, um, well, yeah. In that. the video, they kill someone. I'm pretty sure. Don't you remember? Oh, the video damn. is so dark. Damn. The video is one of the darkest of Red Velvet. Like, I, kill I someone. Do, or I do so remember. It was spooky. It was yeah. spooky. It was spooky. What was your favorite song on this uh, Killing Well, Earth? I found some new songs that I never heard of Red Velvet. Like, yeah. Oh Boy. Oh Boy sounded very good. I liked Oh Boy. Yeah. I want to hear it now, like a studio version. Definitely. And I don't know. There was a lot of more that I never heard. But, like, I don't know of, like, the titles, like, the music yeah. videos of Red Velvet. It's hard to choose. Mm -hmm. Like I like all of them. Like Peekaboo. It's one of the most catchy like, I agree. songs for like of them. I think Peekaboo still is my standout actually. Bad Boy is good. You have not heard it? No. no. I like Bad Boy. Bad Boy is good. We're, yeah. go we're doing it in the next deep dive. Oh, we're cool. For sure. I didn't hear any song that I thought Happiness was... is good. They're debuted. It's funny. There were none of the songs that didn't click with me. Yeah, like right. There were none of the songs where if I was listening to it, I'd be like, what the, what the heck? Yeah. No, no not at all. No, not it's at her, all. It's her style. It's her... Red Velvet is her vibe. For I sure. do agree. It yeah. does resonate with us on a personal level yeah. a lot. Ladies Room was kind of cool, Ladies actually. Room was fun feel mm -hmm. my rhythm as well feel my rhythm was the uh one that they sampled was well, no, no 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 yeah yeah you said that it was, was like a classical sample oh, no doubt fun. in feel my rhythm and they can do it anyone can of like course. sample classical music like that of course like if you recreate the recording yourself or something along those lines uh without any problems because there's no ownership it's like 200 300 years exactly. old nobody has like the digital ah, rights to it anymore that's fun uh-huh it's cool that's fun that's cool for sure yeah for sure. i i found some new appreciation right, 200 years old but it's old yeah but i found some new songs that i like like um kingdom come was cool mm -hmm. automatic one of these nights like you're I, just yeah, reading all the as, titles as you said yeah because i <laughs> yeah, like them, but good. i never heard this that mm -hmm. song those songs it's true as you said like there's no song here that is like oh i don't like it i don't click with it at all i thought it was a very well done performance how mm -hmm. many views does this have oh, i'm God. i'm suspecting a lot yeah 12. 12 million, that's a lot Four of Four months ago. Oh, it's new actually. It's newer. It makes sense, because the last song was also very new. Chill, chill Kill. Chill yeah. Yeah, Chill Kill was like four months ago, uh -huh. yeah. Well, I thought it was a very well done performance by Red very Velvet. Very good. Um, mixing, of course, again, was very, very cool. And it's yeah, cool it's again to see that they had that red thread throughout the whole thing. Yeah. I thought from a vibe and expression uh, point of view, I thought they had a nice uh, aura. Aura. Yeah, yeah, I liked it. It was cute. We're not like, overdoing it at all, just no, nice, just, friendly. Hey just like their friends, yeah. just like their family, all singing together. They look very close, they look yeah. very comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Comfortable singing their own music, I like yeah. that. Yeah, I don't think it's a very, uh, like, I don't think it's a high pressure environment in that way because mm. it's not like a concert no, where you can mess up. No, they're just chilling with the staff. Yeah, and they're used to, you oh, know, yeah. performing. Very used to. So just performing in front of a couple of people is no biggie. Yeah. And if exactly. anything goes bad, I, I'm sure they can just do go, again, yo, right? can we do it again? I don't know if it's like the first take. Yeah, I don't know. Where, as far as I understand, if you mess up anything, it's just too bad, buddy. Too bad. Yeah, there's only one take, literally. Yeah, I wonder if here they can just go, look, that, that was bad. Can we, just, can we just take it from that point again? I don't know if they can. Who knows? Who knows? Educate us in the comments yeah, if, you, if you know, but you have to actually know. No, exactly. So some people just write things. Yeah, a lot of people like writing stuff. They someone don't know. making things up on the internet? crazy unbelievable because like, like sometimes you might think oh yeah it's just the same thing but it's because editing is good editing it's is so easy. easy it's easy extremely you easy would never know never this could have been 50 different performances if, if they wanted it if to they be. wanted it to yeah be. no problem didn't you see how many camera switches but it there seems were? like they just were like uh continuing oh yeah so that's yeah. what it seems like for me so they might have taken a break but who knows Exactly. Literally, who knows? Who I don't knows? know. <laughs> well, they know. But it was a good performance anyway. Definitely, all for course. sure. Good, as you say, good mixing yeah. of the engineer or whatever. Yes. Very the good. Mixer. Yeah, I like, I like, and I, as, I, as I said before. They like to be called audio engineers themselves. And I, I do a lot of audio engineering quite literally, but I don't know. I just think everything has too fancy of a title nowadays. I'm, I'm a boomer. <laughs> <Literally. Yeah. laughs> but I like the songs. I like the vibe of the girls. I'm happy that they haven't disbanded. Uh -huh. Because a lot of uh, groups nowadays like to disband a lot of the time. That's true. So they've been around since 2014, if I'm not wrong. Uh huh. And yeah, I'm happy they continue and they show the shelter. True. Continue. I mean, Red I'm expecting a new comeback. Red Velvet is like a pretty decently big group in terms of just numbers. So if one girl leaves, it's not the end of the world. 
but, but still, it would still suck. But, but like two happy. people, if two people leave, it's kind of like, is it really, really red velvet in the same way anymore? It's sad. You know I mean? It will be yeah. sad. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you see, nobody has left. Thank God. Thank God. They probably have a good relationship and a uh, exactly. proper contract, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Yeah. Well, who could they want it. more? Yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh, definitely. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, our red velvet killing voice review is going to be. Uh, they did a really nice job. Very good. Yeah. Thumbs up it. from here. Well done. We love that. <laughs> make sure to like the video if you're enjoying our content. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of us. And lastly, make sure to head on over to Patreon. Where we've got a lot of Red Velvet content already, and there's only a lot more to come. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of other K-pop content. And we also want to do a Red Velvet album reasonably soon as well. Concert performances, what have you. So mm -hmm. stay tuned for that over on Patreon. And it's also a great way to support us. Well, nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching the video. And see you in the next bye one. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Bye, everyone. Take care.